Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we have T.O. here with us this afternoon, and this is T.O.'s first visit here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief, and T.O. is a cavitation addict like y'all. He'll tell you, he'll tell you he sits around for hours and his wife watches him watching us crack people's <laughs> bones all the time, isn't that what you told me? Yeah, that's what she'll tell you. And that's why you're here, right? That's right. That's what we came for. So, we're going to give a cavitation addict his own personal first time cavitation today. Let's have you close your eyes for me, Keo, and bend your head forward and backwards. Now we've already done his orthopedic neurological tests, but I'm going to give you a highlight of a couple of things. Now neutral. His head is forward in the z-axis, which you can see from the side. His ears dropping way out here in front of his clavicle. It should be back here over his shoulders, which is what's making his shoulders round. Now also, his head tilts a little bit off to the right. Do you see that, T.O.? Yeah. It's translated a little bit left. See how your left hand looks longer than your right one? Right. It's not. You're translated to the left here, but your head tilted a little bit to the right. And then down here, you got less room here than you do on this side, so your pelvis has translated to the right on the x-axis as well. So this being Tio's first time getting here, I want to get to know his spine a little bit better. So I'm going to adjust him face down here on the biophysics table first. So we'll go ahead and lay you on your tummy there, Tio. All right. Left leg is short by only about a quarter of an inch, but as I bring his legs up, they get even. I know he feels that tighten up in his lower back and pelvis. Didn't you say you felt that tightening up all ago? Oh, yeah. And is that tender right there? Yes. Ooh. That's his SI joint on the left, and that correlates with his left leg being short and getting even as I bring it up. It's a little tender on the right right there, too. Now, he's got L5 out right here, too. L4, L3, all these are a little sore. And right there, he's misaligned at T6 and T7 in his mid-thoracic spine. He's got some ribs out of place right here. Those are a little sore, too, aren't they? You got some knots in your traps here. Not necessarily trigger points, but knots. And then C7's out right here on the right, C6. And then C3, 4 on the left right there. And right there's where your headaches start a lot of times. Base your skull and go around. That's really tender right there. In there. I'm going to have you lock your right leg straight, Tio, and lift that whole right leg off the table. Okay, you can relax that one. Do the same thing on the left now. See how it was harder to do on this left side? Did you feel the difference? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Now that's sore right there. So I'm going to start adjusting the left SI joint first. And then his right SI joint. Cavitation addicts are going to go crazy over you. There we go. Upper thoracic there. Cavitation is that point in the joint range of motion where the joint passes through the paraphysiological space to the anatomical integrity of the ligament creating cavitation of a nitrous gas that is made by the synovial fluid in the synovial joints of the spine or extremities. Joints have synovial fluid that is created from the cartilage that will eventually build up a nitrous gas inside of the joint and then when you expand that joint beyond the patient's normal active range of motion and I put it into a passive range of motion that is a little bit more than that into the what's called paraphysiological space it creates that popping noise or cavitation and you felt that when I went both ways on this upper thoracic adjustment too, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's turn you on your back now. So from 
one cavitation attic to another. Sounds like a good title. There we go. There we are. Now slide down this way. I've been a cavitation attic since I was in sixth grade. Let's put your arm straight out, palms up. And chiropractic saved my life and changed my life. That's when I decided I was going to become a chiropractor and not a medical doctor. There you go. No, keep that straight out for me there. That's it, Tio. I'm adjusting his shoulders now and his costoclavicular joint and then the costosternal joint in front of his rib cage. Yep. Okay, you can relax now. And just let your leg relax right here in my hand. There you go. Oh, you should have felt wow. that in your knee all the way up to your back. <laughs> Did you? Oh, yeah. Yep, man. Oh. There we go. Excellent. All righty. Let's sit you up and face that away. Good man. Already you feel like you've had a pretty good full body adjustment, right? Oh, yeah. There's your elbow and your shoulder. Do you feel that? Yeah. Keep your chin up at all times. You work on the computer a lot? Yeah. That's why your head's down so much. Yeah. And sleeping on a pillow at home too. Hopping your head forward. So we're getting cavitation in his shoulders, his elbows, wrists, phalanges. He's just a cavitation addict. Okay, let's come over here in front of the mirror. And let's have you flex your head forward and backwards again. That's already increased range of motion. Now I'm back to neutral. Okay, see how you're still a little bit left of center? See how your left hand still looks a little longer than your right one? Here's your homework. You're going to pull your shoulders up and back. Flare these guys way back like that. See how it tightens up your whole trapezius muscle? Yeah. Then we want to bring your head straight back in the Z-axis. You're left, so we want to go exactly opposite of that to the right. Look in the mirror. Now look up at the ceiling. Now shift your pelvis straight left. Hold that right there for a moment. I'm going to tap your atlas on the x-axis. This sends neurological proprioceptive information into the cerebellum. Now relax. Helping the vestibulocochlear apparatus reset itself which helps the cerebellum, which controls balance, posture, coordination, and all kinesthetic movement throughout the body, recalibrate the cerebellum. So let's do that again. Flex forward and backwards again. This should feel smoother than the previous ones. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now look at neutral. See how you're right down the middle now? You're not to the sides, and you got equal spacing now down here. Not all to one side like you were before. Mm -hmm. All right, let's show, show them what you came for. Event. The ring dinger, the main event. That's right. There we go. This is most all of our patients' very favorite adjustment, including mine. I gotta get these pins fixed though. And I did put the other one in first the other day. It doesn't work for all of you guys trying to tell me how to work my oh. equipment. There we go. You in there tight enough? Yeah. And <laughs> once you to get away on your first visit. Just let your legs bend and relax, and you can put your hands right here and relax. Don't worry, I don't have any heads on my trophy. Well, yeah, I won't start with yours. There we go. Okay. Now, I want you to take a breath through your nose, keep your teeth together, let all your out and relax. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, whoa. Yeah, baby. That's a Holy. home run. And that's why we call it Ring Dinger. See, he's still kicking, folks. He's all right. Oh, keep breathing. Well, yeah, okay. let's. There we go. Drop this one right in my hand here. Yes, sir. Good deal. Now you felt that all the way down there, didn't you, Tio? Oh yeah. Is there one that you did not feel move? No. no. <laughs> that was the truth. Yep. 
All right, let's come over here and stand in front of the mirror again, sideways. Yep. Ooh. All right. Let's take another look at you. Flex you forward and backwards again. And then neutral. Perfect. Take a look in the mirror right now. See, you're centered up everywhere. That's perfect, man. That's good stuff. So what would you mind sharing with all of our other cavitation addicts about your very first experience here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief? The best in town. Well, thank you very much. Really good. Thank you. Appreciate thank you, you sharing your oh. treatment with everybody. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from TO, coming to you with TO from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. We'll see y'all soon.